Hey GTA fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperium Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we are here today doing the Alpha 11 series of the Invader versus Defender series or scenario. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so they put all the uh, missions in here for the new CPU equipment. Uh, and that's what we're trying to accomplish. So, I'm going to tell you what happened with the video that I just... Re I'm, I'm in editing, and the video that I had, my intro video, to this video, to this movie that I made, was totally borked. It, it didn't work at all. It couldn't play. It was, like, screwed. Uh, the, the audio was completely garbled. The video was just pooched. Um, don't really know what happened. Uh, it was. It looked fine while I was recording it, so I'm not really sure. And sadly, it was when it was the very beginning of the video when I spawned in the CV. So I decided to, you know, try and duplicate. <laughs> the intro to my video here with this scene of me spawning in you can see I'm in god mode right now what what I did is I made a copy of my save and I loaded up the copy so I'm in the copy of my save right now so that I can respawn in just just for the video purpose uh anyway so yeah we'll do this um um little bit of a cheesy way but this is how you can do it when uh, um, when you're trying te to test and stuff like that and you're in a you're in multiplayer survival and you're trying to test something out as an admin you can just go and spawn crap in so we're gonna go to it and I'll spawn it in so I also um, screwed up while I had my linked bar I had it linked to the wrong I had it linked to my ship and not the base and so when I unlinked it all this, all of my stuff that I was about to use to put into the to this oh wait uh, I guess you know what I should you know what I, I'm gonna publish this right now there we go that's fine. Um, and we'll also send that to the factory. Oh. Uh, there we go. It's published. Our piece of shit is published. So <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is uh, it's, it's in the factory right now. Um, because this is just a copy of the save and I'm in God mode. I'm just doing this for the video. This isn't the actual save that we're running. The actual save already has the CV in it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll just bring it back in. Oops. I'll just bring it in. Um, finish blueprint. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, no. Um, Yeah, that's I, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> uh, BP like what? Why is there so many ends? It's hard to read. Anyway, that's you know because I suck. Uh, there we go. It's ready. So let's go in and we'll spawn that in and I'll show you guys. So it'll probably leave the glitched out. Whoa, 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 what in the heck? I don't know what's going on. I can't uh, see. Um, why is it doing this? I'm not really sure. Here, let's... Uh, why is it doing this? <laughs> what, what? How do I... Okay, uh, let's escape out of it. No, um... Can I tab out? Yeah, okay. So let's... Really? That was weird. That was weird. Okay, so let's try this again. 
All right, maybe it was it because I was alted? Okay, so let's try this again. I think it was because I had alt on. That just was weird. I've never experienced that before. <laughs> One of the game's many, many fun features of being an alpha. So let's spawn this in again. Uh, okay, here we go. There we go. So, yeah, what I did is... Whoa. Bring this a little... Not that close. And... That looks good there. Let's spawn that in. Oh, it didn't leave the little glitched out thing. Perfect. I can give you a little view of it. Before the uh, next clip rolls. So there you go. There you have it. The Cargo 7... Um, and the video will now continue with the regular scheduled program in progress. <laughs> okay, we are back. And I'm an idiot. Well, at least see the visual bug has gone. Uh, I know this thing is like ugly, 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 ugly. But it's cheap, 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 cheap. Can we get this to open? Thank you. And then you can see there's not much to it. Here, let's turn the light on. Um, yeah, I know there's a thruster right there. <laughs> but you know what? We're, it's a full block away, so you don't get burnt if, if you just don't float up to it. I might cover that with something. I might cover that with something, but um, yeah, even then I'd have to. It would have to be a full block in depth to prevent yourself from getting burned. Anyway, so let's. I think what I'm going to do is I'll fuel this up and take all the mats that we have. Now I actually found the missing mats. They were actually in here. So let's delete um, what did I give myself 250 of each I'm not worried about the carbon substrate so they were actually went into the scout so I'm just going to trash this um, I'm going to trash all that because I gave myself 250 so whatever you know I'll just trash it all there we go it balanced out I gave myself not enough silicone, or too much silicone and not enough iron, so there we go. Threw all that away. So just, just to confirm, it didn't bug out. It went back into the container controller, which I was linked to. So, you know, all my rant and swearing was for nothing. <laughs> but that still bug out. That visual bug is a thing that persists throughout the alphas, and it's a little bit annoying. I wish they would fix it. So that's it. That's all there is to this thing. It's got a turret. It's got it's got some gear though. So at least you know we can we can make some food. It's got it's got a lot of cargo. Okay, where's the main cargo? There's one here. Um, no, that's peeny. No, that's the ammo. That's ammo. Okay, and then this one is, well, let's just take a look. Oh, yeah, you can see it's a little bit over CPU, and it's a peeny little thing, and it's over here. Like, come on, really? I'm going to do a little more better balancing than that. I mean, this is a tiny little thing, and it's over CPU with, like, two or three mini minimum thrusters in each direction. One mini gun turret. And, um, but cheap, 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 super cheap. Okay, it has a container controller with 216K, and that's the main cargo box. And then it's got four 8K ones, just for the slots in them, really, not for the actual storage um capacity okay so 
I think what we're going to do is we're going to get this thing filled up. We're going to get it full of oxygen. We're going to get all the mats into it. And then we're going to fly over to the station and start doing our trading stuff more because we need, we need a lot more credits. And I just made a whole bunch of guns. So we're going to take all that over there. And we'll be able to just make stuff over there now with the uh, large constructor. And that was the whole point of this thing. It's a it's basically a flying constructor, flying large constructor with cargo. Um, yeah, so there you have it. What she look like from the front? Hideous. Can I get up here? I don't think so. Oh, I can. So that's what she looks like from the front. Pretty basic. Took me all of, I don't know, an hour to build. So not not a lot of effort put into it, unfortunately. And it, and it looks that way. <laughs> but it flies great. Okay, so I will move everything into it. I'll get it all fueled up. And I'll get the ammo in there. And we'll get it all ready to go. And I'll come grab you guys. Okay, so we are back. I've loaded all the craft into the CV. I've docked the SV up on top of it, and I've made sure that I can jump up there. <laughs> I made sure I could jump up onto the top of my CV before I actually flew up there. Trust me, I, I'm not that stupid. Although, you know, wouldn't put it past me to do something stupid like that. Okay. So if I stand right here and I just gunner, so I've got two multi-boosts in my light armor. And it is, uh, does it say what the, no. Um, where do we get that info again? Just, come on. No. Oh, there we go. Ah. Uh, the gravity, point 0.9. Okay. So, point 0.9. We can we can make it. Oops, I I was pa I just didn't hit the button. I <laughs> derped. Sorry, sorry. We can do this again. No. And oh wait, what the hell? I I hit it. I didn't. Mm, I I I did jump up there. I know I did it. There we go. I was just hitting it. That's all. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we can get up here. <laughs> oh, that's just to prove I can get up here. Okay. Um, well, I've moved everything in here, all the stuff except for the food. We slept for the night, and now I guess I'll transfer the food. And well, we'll turn it. We'll turn the. Uh, yeah, we'll just transfer it over and turn it on really quick here. Okay, so we have a little mini mobile base, sort of, and with a with a lot of amenities, really, that for just really nothing in here. You know, we've got um, O2. I couldn't do the medical, or else it would be level ten. Uh, I mean, we'll put one in here now. The only problem is it's already over CPU a little bit, just a smidge. Just a smidge over CPU. It's not too bad. Uh, it's because I have one thrust uh, RCS in here. It doesn't turn without it. Trust me. It, it doesn't function without the RCS. Go ahead. Remove the RCS and try. It won't freaking turn. Um, so it's got a bunch of small thrusters and container extensions that eat up a lot of the CPU. Um the constructor is also quite expensive, quite expensive for just a large constructor. Um, it's it's actually 20,000 and the food processor is 200. It's just showing both of them as constructors. Whatever, I guess, because they both make stuff. I don't care. Um, the regular cargo containers. One projectile turret. Six fuel tanks. Um, yeah, I mean, the rest of it hardly eats up 
any CPU. Why does the core eat up CPU? That doesn't make any sense. Right? Um, what does the CPU extend read up CPU do? Now that would be a slap in the face. Uh, I don't have a CPU extender on here, but still, the, the core eats up CPU. Okay, whatever. Let's take this bad boy over to the trading station and try and pawn off what we've already got made. I think it's in one of these. No, not that one. Not that one. So we can't actually, yeah, we can. We can get to it. So that's, I put all the mats in that one. And, nope. Can we get to, there we go. There we go. There's our gun. So I should actually mark, I'm going to have to mark that. It doesn't matter. It's easy enough to get into it through the Wi-Fi. Just so I can find it. I'll, I'll name it in a bit for what they're going to be used for. Let's head over there. So I've got the thrusters turned off, so let's go ahead and turn those on. We've got a little bit of fuel in here. I don't have very much made. When we land, we'll make some more. I gotta, I gotta get more fuel. So the single fly at 60 meters. It's faster than our freaking. Sadly, but we only got 16 minutes of fuel. <laughs> well, that's okay. I just wanted it to move over here. I just wanted it to move over here. That way we can just construct things. I wonder if we can land on the rooftop. Let's try. Let's try. Here, let's level off. Hit Alt. And then we can kind of position our camera where we want a little. We can zoom out. Okay, so. Ooh. That's a tiny little roof, isn't it? Let's rotate. Looks like we've got to move over a little bit. Move in. It always, everything's smaller when you're further away. <laughs> this might be too big. I don't think it is, though. I'm going to hit there. I just missed there. So we'll just back up a bit. Okay, okay we're still going to hit there a little bit. <laughs> okay, this... This is a lot harder to squeeze in here than I thought. And are we? Wow, we're barely going to fit in here. Okay, that's fine. Excellent. There we go. The thrusters shut off, technically, but I'm going to go one step further and actually shut them off. Now, I'm going to turn the turret off, too. We don't, the dro there's no drones on this planet. The drone base is kind of defunct. It only protects itself and the troops around it, and that's it. It doesn't send out drones. Um, there's no drone base attacks. It doesn't, the Xerox really haven't laid claim to this planet. Okay. So, I am stopped. Come on, thank you. Okay, let's jump out. Hmm. We should be able to jump up onto those over there to get up. I just want to make sure we can get back up here. If yeah, see, we we're actually wider than I think we can jump. Jump up from here. I think we should be able to handle it. Leave this down. Yeah, we can get up there. No problemo. Okay. Good. Let's do some wheeling dealing. And we'll call it an episode. So let's grab our stuff that we made. And no. Okay, so we've got 
Oh, here, let's just go like that. See what this guy, see what this guy will buy. Have we... Yep, he'll buy more. Good. Let's just get rid of it all. Anything he'll buy. We have the T2 multi-tool, so we can just sell all that crap. Uh, 1027. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. Let's, let's, uh, we'll keep one of these. We're going to need it. And then... I should probably start buying the magnesium powder. But, oh, you know what? I think we have enough now. Oh, we have over 200k. The magical moment. Um, yeah, let's keep selling stuff. <laughs> Anticipation. And, oh, 161. It's the cheapest I've seen it. I can only buy one. We can only buy one. Okay, well, we're buying it. <laughs> we got our first Optomic Bridge. Nice. Nice, just from selling junk weapons. So we can just keep doing that. We've actually still got almost 50k. Okay. Um, sweet. And that's why I brought the... That's why I brought that over here now. It's just going to be parked here for a while until we keep earning although we will go up into space with it and mine because we need to get sathium we can go back to the moon and get uh like a magnesium or a uh not magnesium did they have i'm not sure if they had magnesium on the moon let's take a look let's take a look what we, where's the magnesium where oh where is the magnesium um sector list trigger post planet info yeah i didn't see magnesium they have neodymium meteorites okay so what's in orbit see no magnesium in this sector at all so if i want to buy any sort of if i need rockets at all i gotta just buy it all from here so i gotta find somewhere else that means we gotta make a warp drive blah 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 okay that's fine uh, what else do I need to buy? I need to buy more laser rifle rounds. If this guy, 76 more, I'll buy them all. I've just been buying everything this guy sells for a laser rifle because I can't make them till I'm level 20. So, And this is keeping me totally stocked in them and I can keep using it as my main weapon that way. And then this guy... What did I have for this? That, that is kind of cool. 100 kilogram. It's not that big. That's cool. So we'll be able to make... I think I need one more and we can make one of the extenders. One of the, the medium sized tier 3 extenders. Okay, this guy... Um, he has the medium armor. We don't have enough money now. So we're going to make more stuff. Uh, he's the guy with Neo, and, yeah, okay, well, he's the guy with Neo, I can buy Neo from him right now, or we can go mine Neo now, now that we got the big rig that can carry a whole ton of weight, um, yeah, I'm thinking we're going mining next, out in space, we're, we're going back up to space, I actually got like a couple hundred gallons of water so we can make a ton of that oh fuel that's going to be our issue so where's all the promethium large one there large one there okay well let's go fly over to those and we'll call in an episode because i'm just going to mine those up completely I can get there from here. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Turn the thrusters. Ah, eh, you know what? I'll turn the turret on too. Why not? So we've got 
28 minutes, 40 minutes, 15 minutes. Okay. So, not a lot of time. We don't have a lot of fuel. We're friendly with the Plara, so we can go mine up these deposits in their zone. Wow, this thing's fast. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I didn't close my ramps. I got to put some signals on there so that the ramps close. And uh, the uh, the other thing of Majingi, the shutter door closes or opens. No, it would be we want the ramp to close and the shutter door to close. No, the ramp opens and the shutter door closes. Oh. Okay, kill that thing. Go ahead. That's fine. Get some Polar Polaris uh, wrap. Oops. And smash into the ground. Brilliant. Brilliant flying. Wow. It's really deep. Really deep. Holy crap. Well, let's try bullying our way in here and landing. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. No. Come on. Okay, well, let's just turn the thrusters off then. There we go. Oh, oh, where are we going? Rock and rolling. Well, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We can absolutely stand there and mine it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we can do this. So I'll just, um, oh. want a tree in here but that's fine see we can actually we can now spawn our drone inside standing here quite safely and then use our new fence drill connect to uh you know what we'll just go right to the mats which one was the mats that one we'll connect to that one still got lots of space in it enough anyway okay so we'll just do a quick little yeah of course do a quick little thing of mining and we'll see how long it takes wow this is super fast the t2 drill rocks compared to the <laughs> survival tool um i still think there should be you know a t1 drill i still think there's room for the t1 mechanical in the game i don't know just they could have they could have made the the survival maybe take out a little bit smaller spot even and it's nice and slow already so <laughs> and then the mechanical one it could have been maybe just slightly faster um i don't know cuz the T2 takes out a large chunk and is fairly fast right so Yeah, we've already drilled a whole crap load of this, just gabbing in the last 30 seconds. Look at this. So I usually make a really tight cut perimeter around. And then, because uh, it doesn't really leave a lot in the middle <laughs> when you do that. It's easy to eat the middle away. Okay, so we've gathered 40%. What are we at? Nice. We almost we almost dug up a, a full stack of Prometheum. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of weight. Holy shite. Okay, so we're only going to be digging up one of this. We're just going to dig up one deposit then. Yeah. And uh, we'll get that going on fuel. So I'm going to leave it here. I just wanted to show that, yeah, we can mine from inside nice and safe. Now, look at that. And a little mobile base, basically, is what that is. Well, guys, I'm going to leave the episode here.
next episode, we will be going up into space and going back to the moon, getting some neodymium. Uh, we're going to hopefully find some of that. It, it, I swear it said sathium in orbit. Didn't it? I'm pretty sure it did. Orbit info. Sathium. We're going to look, go find the freaking sathium. And then, uh, Pentaxid, too. Oh, yes. Oh, there's Neo out in space, too. Okay, well, okay, we're going to go space, we're going to go, uh, um, space mining. Yeah. So next episode is just going to be a big resource gathering run and space mining for mats. Once we have all those mats, we'll probably come back down, maybe modify the SV a little bit, make it a little faster, and um, add a couple more guns and go maybe, um, maybe put armor on it. And although it's, we could armorize the cockpit and then, and whatever steel blocks. I don't even think there are any steel blocks on it though. I think it's all uh, container extensions. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we've got, we've got, we've got this under control now with the uh, CV mobile base. Sure, we can't warp anywhere yet, but that's coming real quick. When we go get the Sath and Neo, we can we can upgrade to a much uh, better SV, and I'll show you what we're going to be doing. We're going to be spawning in my 15th level cargo CV. So we have our cargo medium 15. So it's unlock level 15. But the most important thing is it's a T3 CPU, so we have to get four large optonic bridges to bring that in. The math shouldn't be a problem, and we're almost 15th level, but it's this right here. And, and we got to make a bunch of steel growing plots, so that means we've got to upgrade our, our constructor to an advanced constructor to be able to make those. So... You know, we've got some work ahead of us, but this is our goal right now to get to this CV. Um, yeah. It's all about the large optonic bridges right now. That's the only thing holding me back. And that's why I'm grinding so hard right now on the trader stuff, making all the money. Because we need, you know, I, whatever it's going to cost. It's looking like uh, probably 750,000 credits for the floor, roughly, at this point. So, you know, it's it's slow going right now. Uh, not bad, though. We've got our first one. We've got a CV, and things are going to speed up now because the, the CV is going to make resource gathering way quicker. Like you can see, I just put like a 1,000 